Well, there you have it guys. Welcome to the channel. My name is Mike. We are runaway parents. I do camping, overland camping, travel. We go off grid. I have a killer solar setup in my truck camper. If you haven't seen that, go back through my videos, check it out. And my solar setup in my off grid shop. Uh, I'm constantly evolving, constantly working on it. I'm learning more and more and more. I'm pretty new into it. I'm just like kind of infatuated with it. And Watt Cycle reached out to me, wanted me to take a look at their battery. So I said, sure. So they sent me one and I purchased one because I have big plans for this battery and I'm gonna show it to you. Tell you what, before we get too much further into it, let me walk out there and show you what my plans are. You know, if you've seen my other videos, I have what I call my adventure trailer and I've got my camper set up, 1600 watts of solar on that, 800 watts of solar on my trailer. I've got four server rack batteries inside my trailer, all Victron equipment and in my trailer, Right now, I'm only running my Anchor F3800 and using a 48 volt battery as my expansion. So what I'm planning on doing is putting two of the 24 volt watt cycle batteries in my trailer, one there and one over there. Right here on the flat board would be the EG4 6000 XP or another Victron system. I'm gonna series both batteries together for a 48 volt system. So that's gonna be the install on my adventure trailer. And for those of you that don't know, and are just curious, I've got four, you see them right there. That's EG4LL, 24 volt batteries. And right there's all my Victron equipment. She's really kind of a beast of a setup in that camper, man. Love my system. First build ever done, that's my baby. But right now the star of the show is my watt cycle batteries right here. So let's get into a little bit of the specs on it and show you what we're working with. So let's go over a few things on the watt cycle battery here, man. It's the ultra smart battery. You got a five year warranty on it. Man, you're looking at 8,038 watt hours per battery. That's massive. But you better have a friend with you because they are heavy. I think you're looking at like 153 pounds per battery. They are super heavy. All right, you're gonna have a built-in Bluetooth monitoring with the app. Internal BMS that protects against overcharge, over discharge, overcurrent, and temperature issues. This sucker is rated at over 6,000 cycles at 80% depth of discharge. It's also scalable. You can connect them in parallel for even more capacity. You're gonna have nice solid grab handles on each side, nice solid terminal studs on the front with M8 bolts. You will get the long bolts and the short bolts. The dimensions of this battery is 18.9 by 14.25 by 9.53. Rated voltage is 25.6 volts, nominal. When you have it shipped to you, it's gonna come in at 50%. And it's rated IP67. For series and parallel connections, you can go four parallel max or two series max. All right, now again, like I said, these are some heavy puppies, man. They're not gonna come in on FedEx or UPS. These are gonna to come to your house by freight on a pallet. I suggest you plan on, keep up when they're gonna be coming in, have somebody to help you. Which the guys on freight trucks are usually pretty good about helping you get them off their trucks. I wasn't even hearing they drug it to the front gate. Everything went super smoothly. Now let's take a look at the uh, app. It's your typical watt cycle app. It pulled up both batteries on Bluetooth. Confirm connection, connect it. Now I've been having this one jump back and forth. Like it doesn't connect the first time. Usually the second time I come through, it'll get it. There we go. I've had this one charging. Oh, yep, this one's at 40% and the other one's at 90. But it shows you your temperature, your voltage, amps, watts. Here's the cool thing about it. You can stop and start discharging and charging from, from the app right here. You go right here to settings. It gives you all your, your basic information, phone number, your manual. You can get, get, get your operation manual from right here at the app. Your, to register your warranty, factory data reset, your software version, email, but you can also go to settings, but I would not change any of this. This is predetermined from the factory, your settings. I would just go ahead and leave that alone like it is. But if you wanted to, you could go in there and change things. So that's your Watt Cycle app. Very user-friendly, easy to use. Another thing I like about it is you don't have to go in and set up an account when you want to use it. Pull it out, download the app, open it up, connects to your batteries and you're ready to go. All right, so with all that being said, Let's get into our capacity test and see what this sucker can produce. All right, so we are going to start the capacity test right now. I've got it hooked up to a Victron shunt showing 100%, uh, 27.53 volts, no current right now. So we're going to turn the inverter on. There it is. And I've got the 
inverter running to charge the battery bank in my truck camper. My EG4 server rack battery is in my truck camper. So it's gonna take a second for that to kick in. Got my multi plus in there set, the servo set to only take uh, 13 amps. So we should be pulling about 7, 1600 watts, which should be a 0.2C rate. There it goes, it's climbing. 270 watts, 300, 600, 900, 1200, 1500, 1745 looks like where it's gonna settle at. We're pulling 63 amps, which that should equate to about a 0.2C rate. All right, so we're gonna let that run and we'll get back to you whenever uh, we get some results here. All right, here we go with a little update on the capacity test. Right now, I am showing 15% left on the Victron shot, and so far we are at 249 amp hours, 37 minutes left. Now, if I go to the watch cycle app, I'm getting a little different reading on it. The watch cycle app is showing me 22% left, so we will see how we go. I mean, there's a little bit of difference, but as of right now, we're gonna go with the Victron shot. All right, guys, there we have it. We have a successful capacity test, 314.1 amp hours and still running. We're gonna let it run on through. Let me go to the watch cycle app and we're at 2%. So I definitely call that a successful capacity test of the watch cycle 24 volt, 314 amp hour battery. We're gonna let it run on through and then we'll see exactly what we get. Okay, there we have it. My inverter shut off due to low voltage, but we got to 317 amp hours. So that was an absolute success. 317 amp hours of the claimed 314 amp hours. That's awesome. All right, with the capacity test successfully completed, let's open both of these up and let's take a look inside. This was the battery they sent to me and this was the battery I purchased. I wanna kind of confirm that, you know, influencers don't get sent different batteries than what you would buy if you were to buy one. So we're gonna open them up and compare them. Okay, now we got it, all the screws out from around the sides. Lift the first one off. Man, tell you what, that is super heavy, super thick. I mean, that is, that is heavy and thick. No wonder the battery weighs so much. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna have uh, some uh, plastic board here that's gonna be covering up the cells. So we'll get these screws removed. We'll get it lifted off. Wow. You always want to wear gloves for, you know, reaching inside of a battery. Let's take a look here at what we got. Let me bring you guys in here with me. Okay, here, first look. Man, nice aluminum bus bars. You got raises right here for expansion, which is really nice. All of your balance leads running right here, they have ring terminals screwed into the bus bars. I like to see that rather than some of them you'll see, like you've seen on cheaper batteries, they'll have them soldered on there. Don't like that at all. All your vents or openings have the openings right here. They're not obstructed. I'm telling you what, this is a really nice put together battery. Cable management is real nice. Everything is just tucked away, zip tied. So far I'm seeing four temperature sensors. They're glued right to the top of the cells. I'm not gonna pull them off and we're not gonna do any temperature tests, uh, temperature sensor tests or anything. I don't wanna tear anything apart on it too much because I am gonna use this. All right, there's the BMS. It appears to be it looks like a watt cycle brand BMS. I mean, pretty simple build. You get that fiber board separating all the cells. Real nice laser welds on all of them. Let's look at the other battery. As far as I can tell, exact same build quality. Nothing sticking out, nothing concerning. Everything seems to be identical on both batteries. I'll tell you what, they did a really good job on the build of this thing. This case is absolutely massive how thick that metal is of this case. I really like that. Let's get these screws out and we'll take a look at the QR codes on these cells and see what we're dealing with here. All right, okay, I can see right there on them. They are MB31 cells, 1,004.8 watt hour. So without even having to look these up, just from past cells that I've looked up, these are EVE cells, MB31s. That is very encouraging to see. Let's take a look at this other one. MB31, 1004.8 watt hours. These as well are MB31 cells. All right, hopefully you can see that. I'm telling you, this is, it's really a simple build. Wire management is great. Nice solid connections. <laughs> I'm really impressed, I really do like it. That heavy duty case, there's really nothing I can find absolutely wrong with this battery. Real thick copper bus bars. Look at the thickness on those bus bars. Look at that. 
I like that thick bus bar there on the BMS where it doesn't have solder on it. All right, guys, there you have it. That's my review of the Watt Cycle 25.6 volt, 314 amp hour battery. Man, you got a monster 8,038 watt hours out of this. I think my capacity test could have went a little better if I had a better inverter or a better setup for capacity tests, which I'm just getting started and all this kind of, you know, I'm going to get better at it. Uh, I'll get the right stuff to do a more accurate capacity test, but I don't see no reason I couldn't have got 320 to 25 amp hours out of one of these batteries. MB31 EVE cells, that should have been what I got. I was losing efficiency somewhere, probably through my inverter, cheap inverter. As we get along, I'll get them better for y'all. If you would like to see me take a look at the 12 volt version of these, the 628 amp hour battery, let me know in the comments and uh, I'll try to get my hands on one. These are going to go perfect in that adventure trailer. So stick around for that video. I'll be installing them in the adventure trailer. That's going to be pretty neat. It's going to provide an amazing amount of power on top of what I got in my camper. That's being said, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this video, give me a like, give me a subscribe. I'll leave links in the description. Go check out anything Watt Cycle. Check these out. Check the 12 volt out. Appreciate if you use our link. Helps our channel out. And uh, we'll see you guys down the road.